there's a lot of people right now saying that season's not happening. The NFL season will not happen. Who? Kirk Herb Street. Kirk Give Herb me the Street name. Fuck out. Kirk Herb Street. Okay. Whoa. All right. Let's yeah, yeah, that's talk. heavy. We're not saying that. Well, okay, that's up, fine. I said I, it. I've I've gone I've gone up and down. On <laughs> no, Kirk no, Herb that the before. season's not happening. No, listen. No, Kirk, fuck Kirk. I I actually like Kirk Herb Street as an announcer, but fuck him for saying that because that was such a ridiculous thing to say when he said it, and he was doing it for headlines, and he got ago. everyone in a panic. So Kirk Herb Street, I got no beef with you other than that particular comment which was fucked up i'll tell you what i dm'd him that's how upset i was i dm'd him and i said hey where'd you get this information who are you talking to is there somebody you do you know scientists are there people you know and he literally just sent me his phone number and said if you want to talk call me i haven't i haven't had the balls to call Let's him yet. call him right now that's what he said want, call him right now you want me to? Yeah, yeah call, call him, him right, right now, now. like kirk what do you you gotta tell him that we're recording i think that's yeah uh, say what's the law. deal we got who we'll i got in to it with I can't remember what I I got into it with him a couple couple months ago, and then he followed me. I can't remember. I I think I yelled at him because he was, I thought he was being mean to Wisconsin during a game or something like true meatball shit. Can you guys hear it ringing? Yeah. What's up, bro? Yeah, hey, Kirk. What's up? It's Taylor Lewan. Tell him before he talks any farther. I uh, before you talk any farther, you I'm on a Zoom podcast right now. We can delete it if you want. I'm with Big Cat from Barstool and Will Compton. Awesome. So we're we're literally just talking. Big Cat had some strong words for you about the comments you made <laughs> about. Oh, he said he had strong words for himself too. He we were talking about how you said you you'd be surprised if the college college football and NFL happened. Do you still believe yeah. that? Well, again, I gotta remember when I said that. I mean, that was March twenty fifth, twenty sixth, something like that. Put it close to a microphone, Taylor. Dr. Fauci and all their updates and things that we would get every day. And when I did that interview, I was doing it with this Boston radio guy. And I'm friend, I've been friends with him for like 30 years. And I was almost just thinking out loud. The way, the way it was reported, it was like I declared there will not be any football on top of a mountain, which was the last thing I would ever do. Or even, I was just talking, you know, like me talking to you right now, just, just thinking out loud of how serious this is. Uh, this virus is and how we got to really look at the possibility of maybe not having football in the fall. I said, I'd be surprised if they can provide it without a quarantine. And I, you know, if you look at it now, I think starting on time after talking to a lot of, a lot of decision makers, I think starting on time is uh, still something we all hold on to hope for. We all hope that that's a possibility. But I think what I've learned is they're, they're building four or five different contingency plans on depending on when they free the country up, you know, when everybody's safe, we'll start on time. That's, that's option A. Do we need to push it back a month? You know, that's, that'd be you know, starting in October or November. They've talked about starting in December or January. And the latest is even talking about starting, we're talking college and NFL, possibility of starting it in, in late February and March which would put us you know, playing college football basically like a spring sport, playing March and April and May and playing bowl games in June, wow. which is just bizarre. But that's what, that's what the decision makers are realistic. They're trying anything and everything they can do to salvage, if it comes to that, try to salvage a football season. Um, you know, man, I'm the I'm, – I'm the last guy that wants football season canceled, man. I, yeah, I think. Well, I think you're the second to last guy. Big Cat is. He's, yeah, he's yeah, having yeah, a very, he's he's having a very hard time. Can you hear can me? You, can you hear me, I, Kirk? I have, I have my headphones in. I'll oh, you have headphones. You have to ask. All right. Well, so I just tell Cat, tell tell, tell Kirk that after after hearing what he just said, I will retract. I did just say fuck Kirk Curb Street for that uh -huh. statement. I will retract it now. Okay, so Big Cat, Big Cat did say on this podcast that we're, we're still recording <laughs> that he said, fuck Kirk Herb Street because of the comments you made, not because of the person you are. And he is now retracting that statement. Are you still with me? My service is terrible. No, so I'm, I'm here. Okay, and so no, I, I hey, want you to know, he's Kirk, not very, he's not tell him I second that. Yes. You, you said what? Tell him I second that. Okay. He All seconds, right, retract you said, it. You, you, retract it's retracted. It. Second his comment. I not so Kirk, but his initial comment, yeah. I felt the same way. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I'll be honest with you. I when well, you know, I I DM'd you on Twitter. That's how we got this conversation, yeah. and because yeah. I was worried because I love football just as much as the next guy. Yeah, and I and to me is it like we go August, 
and then once January hits, it's like, okay, guess no football. But you're saying that there's a there's a chance there's here a that really we go strong possibility that if if it comes to that, and we're talking like last ditch effort, they're trying everything they can to salvage a season. If it comes to it, basically having basically kind of like what we just had with the XFL, like a spring football, but it'd be college football in, in season, you know, months like March and April and May and June. Jesus. And then think about this. Think about going back to your days in Ann Arbor. Then you've got, what, four or five weeks to recover, and now you got to start – because they're, they're going to get hope to get back to business in 21. Now you got to get ready to get going for, Combine. for the next season. You know, yeah. if you're an underclassman. So does that, that. does that the NFL play that way? And I know, Baker, I know you had a question. We'll do I one more, and then we'll let, we'll let you go because this is, this, yeah. is, this is becoming a weird, four-way, kind of weird <laughs> triangle podcast now that – it's making us all a little uncomfortable. I, I picture I picture the beginning of this podcast is just you know the Barack Obama the picture where it said hope. It's going to be yeah. your your face on top of that just with the image of football behind you. But here's here's how I see. So you're saying these kids are going to go do college football in March, April, May. No, no I'm saying if it comes. To if that, it comes to that, no, 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 no. I'm not. I, I'm going to put words in your mouth. Hopefully, they're, hopefully they're still going to be on time. But if yeah. it, they're willing to go as far as pushing this thing back to the spring just to try to salvage having the football season. I mean, that's, that would be like last ditch effort type of stuff. And hopefully it'll, it'll be able to start on time. And if maybe it's pushed back a month, I, I'm not declaring again, anything. I'm just telling you what I'm being told that they're willing to try to do anything and everything to try to make the, the 20 football season happen. And if it comes to pushing it back to the spring, then, then they're going to look into that and see if they can make that a possibility. But like I said, hopefully, hopefully we'll have you guys a little bit of in July. We start seeing the ball in in, uh, in August, September. That's that's the hope. We're all still holding out hope for that. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I think I think it'll happen. Big hit. Last question. Got last question. Last question. The last you ask question, Kirk, Kirk. Why he doesn't like the Badgers and why he uh, carried the water for the refs during the Rose Bowl when they did a horrible job and screwed over Wisconsin. Okay, so this is not this. Okay, this is not biased at all, but. <laughs> He, Kirk wants to know. Uh, sorry, Big Cat wants to know why you hate the Badgers, right? Yes. And why and why you carry the waters for the ref refs during the Rose Bowl? Right. Two things. It's gonna kill him to know this. Barry Alvarez, I call him Al Capone, is probably my closest friend in the coaching <laughs> business. The last team that I hate are the Wisconsin Badgers. I get accused of being a Wisconsin Badger homer. I love the Badgers. I love everything that they represent. Constant overachievers. How do you not like Wisconsin or Iowa teams like that? Yeah. Hey, or Nebraska. Wisconsin. Or Nebraska. Tell them Nebraska. He's guilty of hearing what he wants to hear, like most fans. But I, if you listen with objective ears, you would know that I love the Badgers. Just like Michigan. Stand for. Yep. Fair. Just Fair. like Michigan. I, I say. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I respect Michigan. You know that. I don't know, Kirk, because you you went to Ohio State. It's, it's tough. <laughs> And then I, I remember, I remember walking in. I remember walking into Vrabel's office, and you two were looked like you were sipping tea to, with each other, just laughing when he got the head coaching job. And you guys were on your O H I O high horses, staring at me, staring down at me, because it's been, it's been a, it's been not a good rival. I won't even say it's been a rivalry lately. Michigan's down, and I know, I know the president would say the same thing. It'll come back, but tell him that I did not. I did not do anything. I don't even remember what he's talking about with the refs. But no, man, he, he's way off base. Yeah, like, he's, well, he's in New York, so you anti, don't know what he's going through. Anti-Badger. I'm, I'm he's going through a lot right now. I'm going to call Barry as soon as we hang up and tell him that he said that. Uh, uh, hey, well, I, hey, let me tell you, I appreciate you picking up the phone, and uh, I had a request coming up in the future. Maybe do a Zoom podcast with the boys, bust with the boys. Maybe do a collab with uh, part of my take as well. All right, man. All right, we will. Thank you. Did you, okay, before you go, before you say anything, do you say that he said, I'm a big fan of Big Cat and keep up the good work? And I said, thank you. I took yeah. that credit. Did yeah, you see you that? Did. But he did say, uh, and I actually, so I'm looking it up, uh, the tweet, because I was like, why was I mad at him? And I'm looking it up, and I want to say to my credit, this is us just being way too nice to each other, but. I said that I was displacing my anger at him during the Rose Bowl, and I still mm. think they're the best booth because they are. They're the best booth in, in college football. I don't think that's up for discussion. So it's good that Kirk Herbstreet, uh, 
I was able to retract it. He seems like he doesn't – he thinks they're, they're doing everything they can to get a football season. And we just made some uh, podcast memories right there.